Hi everybody, typical Indy here again. Time for a new game. This one being Waking Mars. This is a game that's been on Steam for a little while now. It's on sale this week for $2.50. I got it for $0.59 because I had a bit of money in my Steam account, so that was nice. This was also one of the first Greenblade games developed by Tiger Style. Tiger Style is a independent company that started off making iOS games. So it's cool that they actually got a Steam game out. Don't really know much about this game. But I've had my eye on it for a while now. Do apologize for the lack of videos. I have tried recording two videos during this week, but both of them were kind of a, a failure, so it didn't pan out very well. And I just started the game up. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully this will make up for the slight delay in videos. I have arrived at the cave entrance. Despite the unusual readings, everything appears normal. Amani, what is your status? Yeah, I've got you, and I'm good here. Art, have you verified the system tests and everything? Yes. And I'm prepared to descend. This begins our historic mission. I am honored to have you as my team. <laughs> I knew you'd say something like that, you softy. Watch yourself in that cave, okay? Okay. I'd also like to point out this game was a nominee for Uh, where are you going, Leon? It is necessary to inspect the outpost. Really? I don't remember reading that. It is not a strict requirement, I suppose. Uh, okay. I waited this long. I guess I can wait for you to get done being really, really thorough. <laughs> Um, wait, can I inspect the outpost? No, okay. Okay, so, yeah, this game was a nominee for, ooh, that was a cave. Okay. Nominee for Excellence in Audio at IGF. Although it did not win both. Botanicula 1, which is another indie game that I have yet to play. The tunnel has already become too vertical to continue on foot. I'm switching to jetpack. Sounds great. I'm perfect at this. I'm just ramming my head into everything. This game did kind of give a feel of a Metroidvania game. I'm not 100% sure on that. Though it's, you would think it would be, considering how <laughs> already how open this place is. I'm glad they jetpacks it. Huh? as I proceed to run into more walls. Amoni, are you receiving this? I have encountered some of this ore. Congratulations, Leong. You're the first person to make contact with extraterrestrial life. They appear to be the Hallet, the same as were discovered by our robotic explorer. They are beautiful and strange. But not so unlike plants on Earth. The Zoa cannot be classified as a plant. True. The movement is more like that of an animal. I wonder if they're aware of me. I am holding in my hands a seed from one of the Hallam. This cannot be classified as a seed. Don't worry, Art. It's just a convenient way for us to refer to them. There is fertile terrain nearby. I will attempt to plant this. Uh, 
Uh, hope this is not getting about planting stuff in Mars. to report. One of the cerebrain life forms grows here. And let me guess, it's covering the entire passage. It appears that way. Unless there's some alternate route. Well, you know my theory. They form airtight seals to filter nutrients. You're not gonna find a way around it. But remember what Octo discovered? Just do that. Hmm. And I will attempt to reproduce Octo's results. Planting more Zoa to open the cerebrain. And I didn't plant that one. Must be thorough. So that works great. Grow plants, the cerebrain open. They shouldn't stop us from exploring the caves. Yes, but I worry planting Zoa will have an adverse impact. Suppose we find cerebrain growing extensively. That seems unlikely. Octo only encountered a couple of them this close to the surface anyway. Attention! I have discovered a cerebrate in this chamber. Uh, or maybe things have changed since Octo was here. Well, look, even if there are cerebrain, we need to keep planning. Or it's going to be a short mission, right? Yes. For now, that is my response as well. I'm perfectly fine. Alert. I have detected a transmission in Octo's encoding. Whoa, really? Let's take a look. It would be fortunate to have found him so quickly. No such luck. It's not Octo. It's some component he detached. I wonder why. This signal contains a message. Oh, I know what's up now. He's leaving behind remote camera modules. Take a look, Leon. So this is a live transmission of something in the cave. What is it? You're the one who gets to find out. I'll mark your map with the location of the signal. I guess I can't be fur. Very disappointed. <laughs> Hopefully I don't die in a game with no enemies, or at least it doesn't seem like there's enemies. That would be unfold, oh, that might be enemy. Okay, I'll research go. opportunity. Amani, we have discovered a new life form. One that even Octo did not report. This can be classified as a Zoa. Collect a portion of it for scanning. Affirmed. I will grab one of those seeds. Catch a seed. Here, throw me a seed. It's 
scanning. This soa produces large quantities of liquid water. We will call it a hydron. Attempt to hurdle this at a hallet. Fire research indicates they may respond positively to water. This is killing me. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay. So Research opportunity. Yes. I theorize that there exists multiple functions for this. Hurdle it not just at other life forms, but also plant it into fertile terrains. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. No other way to proceed through the cave. No! You must create new life forms of Mars by hurtling protocaps with your human arms. Protocaps? Did you just invent that word? Yes! I have a creative module. By protocaps, you mean seeds, though. Growing plants with seeds. Yes! That is how humans communicate. Okay. I guess there's some threat to danger, but not enough to where I'm going to panic here. Oh, look at that. 
Anything in particular happen if I hit the max? Okay, you just go ahead and plant that for me. I won't complain. Uh, it seems... since collapsed. Great. Are you going to head back to the outpost for the digging tools? Those things are amazing. I love them. Monty, I'm not locked. There is an opening overhead. Oh, I, uh, see, because the transmission through all the rock gets static in. Uh, sorry. This area contains strong acidic vapors. Liquids also. Acid appears to be dripping through cracks in the rock. Well, don't touch it. That stuff can damage you and your suit. Well, for not only a sound design, or not sound design, but excellence in audio, that was an audio bug. By all means. Attention! 
Station. This is a previously unknown life form of Mars. This microscopic life form digests minerals in the rock and excretes sulfuric acid as a waste product. Colonies such as this grow rapidly when eating, and individuals can travel through tiny fractures in rock. You know, I'm looking at the scanners, and I think those things are popping up all over the place. Acid is dripping out of... everywhere. Temperature, humidity, and pressure have been on the rise. I guess one of those triggered a growing spree. That is a noteworthy sequence of events. How did it evolve this way? Huh? You want me to analyze their genetics? I was just thinking out loud. But this is a dead end. I must return the way I came. Well, what I'm trying to say is that it's getting kind of dangerous. So be careful and stop. Yeah, like that. I will never make it out of the cave. What bad things will happen in this stuff? I wonder if I'm actually supposed to exit or if I just like completely did something back there. Oh, hey, 
Heaven for that. for the dead ends yet. Camera module. Alert! This is camera hardware, dispossessed by Octo. Yes, I assumed it might be. But why did Octo place it here? Was he interested in these basalt columns? I am acquiring data from the module now. Data is inconclusive. Octo stopped attempting to transmit and instead dispossessed the module. The mystery deepens. I can think of no reason he would stop sending transmissions. Hey, Leon. If you didn't get that last transmission, here's what I was saying. You should head back to the outpost, use the map. It will allow you to travel instantly. Oh, just let me explore. I've already tried the map, though. I know what it does. in her assessment of the danger. I have determined that it is 73.570% likely that Octo progressed this way. Then we know one thing at least. To continue our hunt, we will need to get deeper into this cave. I will now provide hopeful information. The digging tools of the outposts are capable of removing this rubble that obstacles progress. Hmm. Did Amani program you to say that? Yes. Okay, I have got the point now. Back to the outpost. Yay, outpost! Oh wow, so, I can actually go in. It is a place taken from a dream. How lucky we are to have been chosen for this mission. 
I am very concerned about structural integrity. We have been reckless. You're talking about that acid slime? I've got some new data. I noticed it has a distinct chemical fingerprint, so I wrote a little solver to find source locations. I used a second order approximation for the diffusion functions, which should be accurate enough. You agree? Uh, yes. So, check this out. This is derived from Octo's report. The slime was already here, even back then. Here's what it looks like now. Even distribution, much higher density. So for the past eight months, the slime has been traveling through rock and reproducing. Burst of activity was caused by my actions today? Definitely. Turns out it's triggered by compounds the halide release. You grew the halide, the acid started dripping. This acid is incredibly corrosive, too. The cave is basically dissolving away. It's crazy. Ooh, there's more. You remember those strange readings we noticed when we landed? I used the subsurface shallow radar, and I'm pretty sure this is a body of liquid water. But eight months ago, it was mostly empty space. Maybe a bit of ice? An underground reservoir has simply appeared? It looks that way. This is awesome, right, Leon? So much to research. This is worrisome. It seems our impact is causing rapid changes that would not occur naturally. The cerebrain are the cause. Perhaps we should dig around them rather than continue raising biomass. We must reconsider our approach to the mission. We... not possible to reach Amani. We are too deep to obtain a signal from base camp. And it is just us two. I wish your natural language module was working properly. Thank you. I am very abilities for human dialogue. Good news. Scans report that you are awake and have suffered without permanent injury. Is there a passage back to the outpost accessible from here? Yes. Accessible to air particles. A human is too large. And I will have to search for some other way out of the cave. You no longer contain any protocasts. Yes, but I can grow my own. Starting with just one seed, I can obtain as many as I need. I have confirmed your logic. Okay. Hmm. No, I'll pass like you guys on Facebook. Not that much of a Facebook fan. Well, I like the game. I'll just get this. Is this safe? Yeah, I like the game. Um, not very combat-oriented like a Metroidvania game, but it does have Metroidvania elements to it with the you know new things you can find and backtracking. So I would say it's like a I wouldn't even call it Metroidvania. I would say it's more like the game with Metroid without the shooting. Well, and that's big too, so I guess 
but okay, I guess Metroid Mania kind of works still. But, that's irrelevant. So, go ahead and stop here. Not sure if I'll do a playthrough on this, but if there's any interest, I definitely will. Probably put it up as one of the five games for the next walkthrough I can do for you guys. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably do that. So, as always, feel free to like and comment if you so desire, although commenting right now seems to be a bit of a hassle with the new update YouTube or Google has put out for YouTube. And if you like what you watch, feel free to subscribe. There's definitely more to come, although it may not be that frequent as... I would like it to be, considering I'm pretty busy this few weeks. But, yeah, I'll try my best to get videos up, and, as always, thanks for watching.